guys jc hooligan coming from the dirty jurors with another episode of timberborn it's been a while since we've been on this one and uh we unlocked the iron teeth faction uh last time we were playing so i thought we'd give this one a go um they do have different buildings different perks uh and i've never actually played with these guys before so i thought we'd get into that and uh i'm feeling like uh we're gonna try the thousand islands map let's see what this is all about normal and let's get going all right we're gonna call this um hmm let's call well it is new jersey let's call it the pine barrens all right how's that sound oh i already called something the pine barrens look what me how about uh crypto town crypty crypto crypto like as in like a cryptid not not currency all right, there's our little dudes. Let's get a lay of the land, see what this map is all about. I see lots of metal up in the area. All right, so we need to get started with some hot housing, food production, farming, and etc. So let's get the basics going. So we need trees, we need berries, uh, we need row ads. Uh, let's go ahead and bring a little pathway down like so. Maybe one over here perhaps one like this so obviously bridges are going to be important i'm just going to see all right so the water has different depths and i assume when we have droughts it's really going to shut water down so i see a lot of neat choke points where we can actually create um dams and i'm wondering if we shouldn't you know work on getting this place dammed up all around now i don't know what all we have don't okay yeah so there's a bunch of stuff we still need to unlock so we're gonna need research we're gonna need all that stuff uh that we needed that we needed before uh i forgot how to delete things yes all right i'm gonna get some of this basic stuff started up and i'll bring you guys right back all right gang so i've got the woodcutter going i've got the berry gatherer going as well as i added two uh of the water pumps so we can get some water going all right so we had two unemployed beavers so this should handle our unemployment issues next that's food water and basic construction materials set up so next we need to get going with housing again oh man i feel like such a noob it's been so long since i've done this i kind of feel like i want to break out this way and then at some point i want to bridge across and we know we're going to bridge across this way so i'm feeling like i'm not quite sure how i want to build the houses but i might want to go with some where was our houses right there so we have oh and they, they have barracks oh that's right because they're more like more militant so let's uh let's see what the barracks looks like let's get it spun around and i'm feeling like maybe two all right and these guys are thirsty of course they're getting there and then uh let's see we've got a 16 hour work day so i think that's good there um <laughs> all right and this of course will give us their oh they're not happy they're so mad at me right now they don't have any shelter and they're thirsty ah we're working on it guys i'm trying i'm doing my best i forgot i forgot how to operate the beavers <laughs> you know guys have that trouble sometimes we we have trouble with <laughs> operating beaver oh my god i'm getting i'm never even gonna get a shot at becoming monetized am i uh let's go ahead and i want to kind of clear out some of this stuff in this way right here wait i forgot how to do this dang it all right, we want to mark resources for destruction. Oh, I got it. All right, so I'm going to tear that down. And of course, I'm going to build a pathway automatically to go towards this flight of stairs. That way, huh? I don't know if I should have put that right there, but it is what it is. This little plot of land, it's a little more difficult than I anticipated. Um, I still have two unemployed beavers. Okay, they've got water going. You guys can get drinks. Maybe we should put a little uh, water tank uh this is the only one we we have the small tank uh maybe we should put these one two and three all right cool uh, i'm happy with that for now that should get us going there um i love these little games i'm really curious to see the differences in some of the cool stuff that these guys have so they start with industrial piles so i found that to be kind of interesting so you have small industrial and i think our other guys had like stacks so what's the small pile look like okay just a normal one maybe we should stockpile oh that might be a good spot right there for our wood all right there's a lot of projects going on right now so 
Uh, we've got water, and uh, once we get these built, they'll be able to... Um, and I'm going to go ahead and prioritize this, the housing as, like, the thing we need done. Awesome. So they'll work on getting this house done. We are waiting for 8 of 40 logs. We need quite a few logs to get this built. Uh, I feel like I want to bring this little roadway down as well. I like my roads to be connected. Uh, I don't know. It just looks nice in little blocks, I guess. Uh, and maybe we'll bring this one down like this. Also, guys, thanks so much for all your support and comments on all the ARC videos, as well as my live streams. I really appreciate it. I know the live streams have been a little erratic, as well as the posting. I just started school, uh, so I'm trying to balance all of these things. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I'll get it figured out. I will, and I'll get a more, uh, like, routine schedule set up with what we've got going on. Uh, let's go ahead and speed up the nighttime. The nighttime is the right time. Get these guys up and going. Excuse me, emergency mute. I had to sneeze. Um, I like the medium speed. That way I can kind of at least monitor everything and it's not going along at a snail's pace. Let's see what kind of stuff they talk about. They say the same thing. Uh-oh. I don't know. Is that happy? I don't know what that means. Well, they're at neutral, so they're not, they're not pissed at me anymore. So I guess that's the thing. I don't know. They're still not happy because they don't have shelter. So we need to get this going, guys. Let's chop some logs, yo. What's well, taking so long? All right. And do we have... We have a lumber mill. So we can start making planks, but the lumber mill requires power. So in order to get power... <clears throat> excuse me. Um, we do have the compact water wheel. Large water wheel. We have the power wheel unlocked. We don't have engines and batteries and so on and so forth i really want to get to that stage and i want to build some really cool stuff now because i know the first one was kind of a learning process oh excuse me you can probably hear the music of my people in the background uh, i do live in new jersey <laughs> uh sirens are just part of the daily uh stuff and things so uh yeah so and then of course we need to unlock um the first we do have the first level of dam so uh we might want to get something blocked off because we're going to need water and i feel like dams are going to be the best way ah, man it's hard to say because i don't know where the water comes in from this whole area is just islands right so i feel like the water probably just is everywhere and as you can see over here these little plateaus are quite high in fact so we could probably stash the water uh up there pretty far and we are way what way over here Okay, I just want to get a lay of the land. All right, cool. So, I think farming would be good to do on some of these, like, emptier islands. Like, this over here would be great. Um, we could make the water go into here. Uh, we need to block off. And you can see it's flowing all in one direction. So, um, sort of. <laughs> so, blocking it off, um, probably, maybe, like, here and here would be a good start and possibly up here so we definitely got some okay so this looks like this definitely looks like the main flow is there anywhere else where it flows in here as well oh that's cool that's like a whole waterfall situation all right so it does come from here all right cool so it comes from the top and it works its way down so i want to see the best way that we should probably block this off again would across this way and possibly cross this way and then we can build our farms up here and i think that might be a good place to start i'm gonna keep working on this guys and i'll bring you right back and it is the morning and we need our other house built as we have a homeless beaver <laughs> so they're working on this one i added an extra wood cutter in here uh, i went ahead and built a pathway up uh do we need to connect it though like this uh pathway or the, are they just smart enough to do it uh, and then I designated these woods for cutting as well um, because we need to get the second house built because there is a homeless guy and I didn't realize it. So I'm feeling like I kind of want to possibly... Again, let's get a little hot pathway action going here. And how many research points do we have? We have 59 research points. Okay, let's, of course, bring our thing down like so. And then probably... That's 100. Wooden stairs are 70 what about the levy that's 120 are we even close to getting anything accomplished we don't need a scavenger um the forester would be a good idea because he'll regrow i think i'm gonna go ahead and unlock the forester so we can continue to cut the uh 
or grow the trees so i'm just gonna head, head and stop that words start that guy all right so they're coming up here and i think I, what i'd like to possibly do is maybe get the forester up here see where it's nice and green and wet we want to be able to build the guy i don't know i'm trying to figure out where would be a good place to put him uh where we can grow a good chunk of trees because we're gonna as we start we've got berries so i'm kind of feeling like I don't know we need to build a place to stockpile berries as well um so much to do uh so many potential things here um down here would be a good spot as well to grow trees we've already got all these trees we could put our forester here we could do a whole island of just logging and eventually kind of move all of the industrial stuff off of here make this like the center of housing and, and things like that so um it's hard to say and of course um a lot of these are gonna have to be new districts which is also gonna be tricky because you know you only have so much radius that they can go from each district so that's the thing that they get into planning as well um but it's off to a good start um i've got food water and shelter uh which are the basics Ooh, and we just reached happiness level four so they're not super pissed at me anymore yay do we get anything cool for it um so wet fur they want to be wet they do like to swim there's nothing better than a wet fever <laughs> um <laughs> sorry a little bit um so we got to figure out how to do that in fact i remember if i remember right under well-being can't oh you know what we need to give them a teeth grindstone they definitely need that let's go ahead and put that like right here since we've got these little empty spots let's put two of them in there why wouldn't you that way they can fix their busted teeth that'll help tremendously we'll get these water tanks going awesome excellent excellent i'm gonna clear out this stump Oh, you know what? You actually have to do it this way. That's stupid. Uh, clear out. Audio stump. In fact, all these stumps need to go. You're in my way, stumps. All right, we'll take care of those. And I want to run the pathway up this way, and we'll continue getting those trees there. Um, we have gotten nowhere near that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a water tank now. Let's go ahead and get that flagged for water. Boom. Now these guys have something to do now they have a little stockpile of water because you know we're gonna have a drought coming soon um hide water show storage overlay oh neato i didn't even know you could do that uh so that's the thing um it's coming along nicely so i do want to add the forestry guy the tree grower guy back um but i want to maybe clear out this path right here because i kind of want to make it a little more um square if that makes any sense um let's see so the pathway would run this way so let's go just on a straight line like this and take that row out right there all right cool um that's the thing and then i'll bring a pathway down and clear that out i want to make little chunks little blocks whatever the word is uh there so they are all hungry they said so we should probably build um how many berries do we have? We only have 13. So maybe we do need to start getting into some farming. Um, we can get a farmhouse. We have three unemployed beavers. Perhaps we'll turn this little chunk right here into a uh, farm. All right, let me get to work on that. All right, the farm is up and running. We've got carrots planted. We've got water. I've moved the logging stations because I wanted to go ahead and just kind of balance out this little spot right here. We've got 66 research points, so we're getting to the point where I think we need to start getting into planks. Um, I did go ahead and add this, so yeah, we have to get the planks built. So next, I feel like we need to add... it. We only have the small water wheel as an option, but I'm kind of feeling like um, this is a good spot for it right here. We're going to build it like this. All right, and then we're going to have to build the uh, sawmill, lumber mill thinking maybe like right there and then we need to add the electrical guy right in between like so this should get our power or our sawmill up and running shortly uh 25 logs all right and then at some point again we're gonna need to build uh the uh dam that is something that's gonna have to go across for sure on both sides i think you know this one's gonna be the long one but this will at least keep water flowing and blocked hopefully not flowing but at least blocked 
in our area here and i want to see is that is that too high we'll see we'll see how this works uh so they're getting that built we're on day 11 and no drought yet uh, i i went ahead and queued up the um this station but again we're gonna need the planks so i should have I, I knew in my mind i should have done that first but we're there it is what it is so we've got to get the planks going and we got to get enough logs cut oh little fellow's got broken teeth fortunately for him we have tooth grinding stations oh look at that you know what would smart to do is actually place those near the work areas i mean <laughs> So I'll probably end up moving those and maybe we can put something cool in right there. Um, I do want to add like their little fire pit, the stuff that makes them happy, like either the terrace or the campfire, because they do like that kind of stuff. And also that does increase your beaver population as they hang out, they get together, they have a couple drinks and you know what happens next. So um, that's definitely going to be the next project for sure. And they are hungry, so they want real food. Um, it's so interesting to me that they're always picky about berries. Um, so we are definitely running low on that so we need the carrots to get their asses growing looks like we have about four days to produce these carrots so it'll happen and we could even perhaps since we have the one farmer and we've got the space mayhaps we put in a potate crop per possibly you know what why wouldn't you let's just go ahead and add the potatoes and we can always move these later and I think that's what we're going to end up doing is, um, I said, I'd like to kind of get each little island doing its own thing as its own district. And then they can share food back and forth between the two. Um, so that's kind of an ambitious project. I know I'm not as experienced as I should be doing this, but, uh, that's one thing I'm definitely going to be working towards. Uh, we need to get this thing up and running, but look at that water wheel go. So we do have good current right here, as you can see. So that looks nice like that. Uh, it would be cool to get another one across, just kind of bridge them together. Um, so how are we looking here we need all right seven more so we're about halfway there uh awesome and once we get that going of course we'll be able to start making the planks so we can start get this guy replanting the trees uh so it's a nice little settlement we've got going we've got the water we've got our food production up we've got our learned guy doing his thing uh we only have one unemployed beaver as of right now uh, i don't want to add any additional building projects just yet so we get a little caught up uh it's nice to have these projects and we have enough to, we do have the workforce in order to do so actually boom unemployed beavers problem solved so now we have this guy put to work so he's gonna be doing his thing and let's see what they have to say about that he said i don't know what he said all right as soon as we get this going we'll have electricity and what we probably will have to do then is kick the one guy out that we just put in into the situation Ooh, come on baby get it done get it He's doing it. He's doing it. Ta da! We have power. Awesome. Uh, we do not have an employed beavers, though, so let's go ahead and chop one out. Get to work in the mill, son. Awesome. Colovux is now working in our mill. So now we have logs that will be going here to get milled, uh, which will help with the guy planting the trees. And we are off to a nice start. But I think that's going to do it for this episode of Timberborn. Uh, playing the new faction these guys are more industrial i can't wait to get into some of the things um, that we can build i think it's gonna be super cool it's gonna be an interesting way to see uh, i'm gonna do some modification again changing this i've got grand plans for these islands um so stick around again thanks guys so much for fo all your follows likes and, and comments and if you're new please don't forget to subscribe also don't forget to smash the thumbs up button on this video feel fair can't talk anymore feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit jc hooligan signing out and as always, you have a great rest of your day.